today presenting an award with Danny Dyer. I know, I know, on this of all day. Do you think he will reward the Mentor of the Year and solve Brexit in the same event? That'd be good, wouldn't it? Is he going to kiss Prince Charles? Well, of course, they're family, aren't they? He has those royal connections. Will he, will he bow? Or Prince Charles bar to Danny Dyer. <laughs> Brian May, how long have you been involved with the Prince's Trust now? Ah, almost since the beginning, I guess. 1988, we played it here at the Royal Albert Hall, one of these first um, concerts. And I was blown away to be doing it at all. And I still am, to be honest. Uh, but I remember Phil Collins, Eric Clapton, and, and um, the wonderful Joe Cocker. Lovely days. You know. It was, uh, there were actually difficult times for me, and it was a way of kind of drawing myself back in a sense. I'm here to hand out um, the Community Impact Award. Um, I think it's really nice to be um, a part of this charity and um, being able to give back to, to, to people, knowing that um, the good work that they're, they're doing in the community is, is not going um, unnoticed, so it's, it's really nice. So anything that benefits young people, and if I can help out in any way, it's kind of an honour to do it, do you know what I mean? Because I was very fortunate that my parents pushed me to do music and they supported me, but I'm well aware that not everybody's got that. And I think if Prince's Trust is supporting young people, then that is a great thing. Sometimes you meet these young people and they've been through more, than more, more heartache and more grief than you could possibly even wish to experience it. Not even wish, you wouldn't want to wish to experience it. But, you know, it's they've been through way more than most people have. And, half our age you know and you think well you've not given up you've seen light at the end of the tunnel you've taken help instead of shunned it you've seen that there is hope and you've, you've, you've succeeded at it um, so they're an inspiration they're an inspiration to anybody and we will hear the stories of these young people today and um, you know some of them are you know, heartbreaking um, which is hard to hear but inspiring at the same time. I don't come from a particularly wealthy area and everything I've achieved I've done against all demographic prediction with my own steel strength bootstraps lifting myself up. Shouldn't have got an A-level, no one else in my street would have it. I definitely shouldn't have got a degree. I am one miracle weird statistic. There are loads of people that didn't have a stable mum and dad like me or had a terrible background who are trying to do the same miracle. Prince's Trust is one of the ways to achieve that miracle. We've worked together for over 20 years now, around 20 years, and we have been there, I would like to think, for each other. And so, yes, in many ways, we've sort of turned to each we other through the light and the shade. Sometimes it's been a little look at each other. There's a lot of that to give you, to give you strength. <laughs> And then sometimes actually heart to heart, yeah, I would say. It's been lovely. Actually. Which is what these awards are about as well. Absolutely. She's told me absolutely nothing about broadcasting. Um, <laughs> but a lot about life. But a lot about life. <laughs> Who was my mentor when I was growing up? I think my dad. Yeah, my mum and dad, definitely. You know, they loved food on the table and bought the books and um, encouraged me. And then throughout my life, there have been others, you know, band leaders. Sports coaches. It's good to be guided by somebody and guided by a whole a variety of people. But I think then a, the skill of a true mentor is to then hand it over to you and for you to feel confident and well informed enough to make your own decisions and take responsibility for your own thoughts and actions. I mean, I went from stamping uh, finance applications to doing ballet every morning, not actually having a clue what ballet was <laughs> or understanding what first position was or anything, but I threw myself into it and if it wasn't for that person who believed in me and told me to go for it, you know, I just packed my bags. You can do that when you're 16, 17, you know, you pack your bags, you have no you have no baggage really, you know, and you just get up and get on with it and that's what I did and I'm, I'm very glad that I did it and glad that I had a mentor that pushed me to do that. Um, she's always been there for me, always supported me. Um, she's been the person that I've, I've looked up to. I saw how hard she worked to look after two children, working two jobs. I mean, I, I didn't need more inspiration than that. So I had many mentors, really. Um, Patrick Moore was one of them. <laughs> who uh, said to me, it's not too late to do your PhD. And it was like 30 years too late, but he, he got me to do it. So that was a good example of being inspired when you don't have the belief inside you. I, I, I think I was, my, I think I was. I think I, I, think I, I did, that's what I'm saying, I did everything on my own. Um, my nan was a really important part of my life, because my nan was a rebel. I come from a good family, but it's a, it's a council estate, solid working class family. You don't go beyond the electrified gates of one GCSE 
and working in a shop or a factory. But my nan was a bit like, you know, sod the rules, sod what everyone says, just be daring, be bold, go for it. Rahul then, um, how excited are you to be in this room it's and really pick up exciting. this award? It's a little bit crazy, but really exciting to see so many people here that have worked with the class, so many Stephanie ambassadors, and amazing. Um, they for trust they for me. <laughs> How, it, how emotional do you think you might get? Um, hopefully not too emotional. I'm kind of good at just taking things in my stride, but hopefully I'll have it under control, but who knows? And you've got Kate Garraway, our very own Kate, uh, yeah, and Danny Dyer presenting nice. the award. Yeah. Um, it must it must give people, young people, such a boost to come to a, an afternoon like yeah, this. I think so, and I think um, that so many young people are being recognised today for what they've done and their achievements amazing and to be recognised on such a stage is like a great feeling for everyone and myself included as well um, and I think it, it's just it's so amazing that people can experience it. You have a little eyelash. Oh yeah. that's so nice yeah. of you to point that out because no one ever does do they? It's no, like when, if you've got lipstick on your no, teeth. It's just, just there. Where is it? There we go. Oh, make a wish, make a wish. Blow it. <laughs>